So what am I going to chat about just for a moment today or this evening is tonight's episode of Being Mary Jane. So I know a lot of people have their pros and cons about the subject matters that they attack in there. And even this year, I was a little iffy about how I felt about Being Mary Jane. But even though there are some I mean, kind of touchy subjects that I may not necessarily always agree with, but guess what? That's life. But what I have to appreciate about Akio Productions is how they actually attack every subject that is actually right now probing our country Um, and things that we deal with every day. So I just want to talk about how they brought together this multicultural panel for the Talk Back Talk show that um, Mary Jane will be producing. It gave me some amazing ideas of some things that I may want to work on, but just to be able to attack that, to show family values that we as African Americans are not all turning our backs on our families that we believe in supporting. Now, I will say that some of it, and some of us are guilty of that, is enabling. So, you know, when you enable someone that may be, um, have, may be addicted to drugs, Um, So I think that's kind of like the lesson that's coming out of it. The lesson of how we may be quote unquote sellouts. The lesson of how no matter what, we still have to be there for our families, but we have to put in a system that actually works and a system that makes us better. So don't criticize if you do not have a solution. So the brother came up with, let me help you, but I will not be a crutch for you. I will help you, but I will not rescue you. And I think that some of it comes from, if you look at it, it's always deep rooted. It comes from way back when this young lady saw her father being on drugs. Um, And that kind of trickled into how she started to act out, if you will, in her life, how she became a single mother at such a young age and having two children by two different men. And then just thinking that she's arrived because she's working part time and it's not judgmental, but sometimes you have to tell the truth. And the truth is not always pretty, but it is definitely necessary. So there are, there's no hair pulling. There's no, um, drink throwing. There are no names being called. You may not always agree agree with the way that Mary Jane lives her, um, like romantic personal life, but she is a stand up sister, a stand up daughter, a stand up, you know, auntie, whatever it is that she needs to be. And those are lessons that we need to see. So And let's just be honest, there are women out there that live their life exactly the way that Mary Jane does. So I think sometimes it's like it hits so close to home and you're like, oh, how could they show that? Oh, she's doing this. She's doing that. But it's the same thing. Like she has her life together professionally, but sometimes we end up acting out what it is that we can't get. So she is filling that void with other things. No, she is not happy with sleeping around. No, she is not happy with being with all these men. But right now, that's all that she can do to fill whatever void that she has. So sometimes our life is not being played out on the screen. But there is something that sometimes, and a lot of single women, if they're very honest with themselves, can definitely... um. We can look at be at Mary Jane and see some resemblance of ourselves in her. She's played out some roles. She's played out some things that I'm like, ooh, 
you know, let me take my shoes off because you just stepped on my coins. So definitely. And, and you know what? The first step is just being honest. She's very honest about who she is. But sometimes we justify our actions by saying I'm a grown woman. I can do what I want. Well, being grown does not justify um, the fact that you sleep around because just because you make a lot of money, just because you're a professional, just because you drive a Tesla, just because you a baller and you carrying a Birkin bag does not negate the fact that your personal life may be a little hoish. So, and more than a little hoish, but she has evolved. And in each season, I think they continue to evolve her, but definitely show the deep rooted issues that plague not just African-American women, but I'm talking about African-American women because that's who I am. And I don't apologize for standing up for me, for us. And I can't speak for everyone else, but just some women that I've had conversations with. So it definitely was worth, you know, revisiting and talking about. Um, because if nothing else, it gets the conversation started. It gets your wheels spinning. And so I'm ex super excited about the finale because it's going to attack some very, very controversial issues that's going on right now here in our town in Chicago, as well as all across the country. So tune in next week. I will be doing a pre being Mary Jane and I will be doing a post being Mary Jane if I can get it together after I watch it because just seeing the previews kind of shook me up. But don't count it out because if you gave it a chance, sometimes we count out or we criticize stuff that we ourselves have not even seen or haven't seen. We haven't checked it out. We just go by what someone else says. And it's not one of those reality shows that is degrading black women. It's not. It's actually telling our story, telling what we go through and probably could help me and kind of understand where we are and, and maybe be, maybe liberate a few women that are going through that. So Tune in next week. Thank you so much for listening. It's your girl, Terry D, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.